this video we will look into the application of fuzzy logic in aircraft okay so how the aircraft landing works based on fuzzy logic so this is my topic today aircraft landing system so before going to this we should know how the aircraft works with this so there are two things majorly very much important for for an aircraft so one is take off and second one is take off and second one is landing so how these two are controlled so based on these things only the aircraft stability or aircraft is safe okay so this is take off and second one is landing so how these things will happen okay how these things will happen for example if we are traveling in a bus and if we put our hand outside in this manner in this manner that is just parallel to the ground then they may not be very much impact on impact of air on our hand but if you turn a little bit slightly like this and for example if we are our bus is moving in this direction then definitely the air will come and hit the hand at this point and at this point then definitely our hand or maybe we can call it as our palm will go up so this is the concept of air depth. okay at the same time if i i put the hand like this then air will hit at this point in this way and my hand will come down so based on this concept the aircraft will work okay so similarly that will happen for take off and landing so in this problem we will see how the aircraft landing will happen and what are the different parameters we need to see so coming to fuzzy logic controller so we need to control the certain things that means the output should be something i mean by taking some inputs and we need to process those inputs and we need to give the output that's what our uh, meaning of a controller so coming to fuzzy logic controller definitely we should have input and we should definitely know the output so in this case so what are the inputs and outputs that is our main job to identify inputs and outputs so let's know about it so how the inputs and outputs are in our aircraft landing system for example if this is certain height and this is the ground for example now if aircraft is here if the aircraft is here and how the aircraft is landing and let us see the part here if aircraft is here yeah then how this will be landing so the aircraft will be landing like this yeah and this is the ground so from here to here is the runway of the aircraft so here we need to understand one thing this runway is constant for a particular aircraft so this part is constant so we can't change this part okay this part is very much constant so 
based on this we need to keep in our mind such that our aircraft has to land at this point a and it has to travel on the ground up to b only so definitely a and b points are fixed for a particular aircraft and the aircraft has to do the same thing okay has to follow the same thing so before that this is the angle it has to maintain this let me call this angle as phi1 so with phi1 angle it has to come down okay so this is the basic concept of a landing aircraft now we will see if the aircraft is for example if the same aircraft is at this part so the same aircraft is at this part what will happen at this part and it has to reach a for sure this this one is fixed so it has to reach a that's for sure yeah if the aircraft is at this position yeah if aircraft is at this position again i need to reach the same spot i need to reach the same spot a for that i am taking the angle theta i mean phi 2 so definitely my angle has been changed based on the height so in this context i can conclude one thing such that my input i mean the input should be first input should be height h e i g h t first input should be height for example for example if i have taken this thing as is an example if for example this fly i mean this airplane is uh, running uh, with 1000 feet per second okay maybe this this may be the speed for example and it is reaching a with the same angle it's reaching a okay nice for example if the speed is 2000 feet per second so what will happen and if if i am maintaining the maintaining the same angle what will happen definitely it will reach more distance so it will reach more distance then if it is a dash now and so with this speed it has to go somewhere somewhere far but my runway is ended at this point so what's what's the problem now so definitely there is a clash maybe here there may be buildings here okay so definitely there is a crash so it should not be done so what i can do that i can one one way i can see that height is one of the parameters and the second way is even the speed is also one of the parameters where i need to consider the speed also so now i can declare that my height and speed are the basic parameters so i am going ahead with the with these two inputs only now what is the angle so every time what we are trying to obtain we are trying to obtain the angle every time okay so i can say that angle is my output angle is my output so based on the height and based on the speed i need to decide the angle such that the uh, the flight has to reach point a and it has to travel up to point b okay this is clear so now till now we have done with the input and outputs okay the inputs are 
height and speed and the output is angle angle of the blade okay so this is the concept basic idea of uh, the aircraft landing system